Buenos dias amigos, today we are at the San Pedro market in Cusco, Peru. And we're going to be showing you what 50 soles can get you at the local market. <laughs> if you saw our last video, then you already know our friend Ricardo, and he will be joining us again today. Hi guys, how are you? My name is Ricardo Rivera. I'm a professional cook here in Peru. And this is the perfect place where you can come and get to meet the Peruvian, the real culture. Markets are the places for it. But all of them have something in common and they hold that history and local culture that we're gonna see right now. So, let's go to the market. <laughs> I am super thirsty, so right now we're gonna go find some fresh juice and see what we can get. Ricardo knows a lady here, so let's hope that she's here so we can get some tasty juice. Hace estando haciendo uva aquí. 30, 22 años ya se da con este. 30. Ajá, ya voy así 32 años. Grande, mucho tiempo. Sí. sí. Estudiaba, también trabajaba. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Bueno. No wonder it's the best juice in Cusco. Gracias. Gracias. For three servings of juice, it was only seven soles. So let's go spend some more money. going to try some local fruit of Peru. This is a chirimoya that is a fruit originally from Peru, but you also find it a lot in the Philippines. When the Spaniards came here, they took a lot of these things to the Philippines that used to be their territory. And this, the flavor of this is very hard to describe. It's sweet and look at this. Ooh. So, Drew, I want you to try it now okay. and I want you to tell me what you think about this fruit. It's very, very special. Yeah, let's you see. take this, you know, people call it custard apple in English. I've heard it many times. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's accurate, but, mm -hmm. mm. yeah, don't bite it. Don't bite the seeds. What does it taste like? like? Like vanilla, kind of? Like a custard. Yeah? Maybe that's why people call it custard yeah. apple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. This fruit is noni. And it's known because it is supposed to have properties that can fight the cancer. And people normally take it in juice. But it has a particular smell. And I want Alex, please, can you smell and tell me what it smells like? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to smell it again. What does it smell <laughs> like? It smells like stinky feet. <laughs> <laughs> Trust us, you're really lucky that you cannot smell that right now. <laughs> Next fruit we're going to try is called Lucuma. You make the best fruit oh, with this. Oh, it's like really creamy. Yeah, it tastes like a dessert. Mmm, it tastes like dates. Kind of looks like an avocado a little bit. Pretty good. To finish our little fruit series, we have a papina. So the best way to describe this for me is that this fruit looks like a tomato. It tastes like a melon, but it's a cucumber. Oh. Okay, because that's that's <laughs> what it is. Yes. So this is the seed in the middle. Okay. You can eat it, but it doesn't have much flavor, so okay. you better don't. It's really good. Yummy. Mm. You know I mean? Definitely tastes like a cantaloupe, but less flavorful, less sweet. Very good though. All of that fruit was only eight soles. So now we gotta find some uh, some more stuff to get at this market here. We're not gonna buy it, but this is a petrified baby llama. Look at this little. <laughs> and there's a whole pile here. Okay, moving on quickly from that one. We are now going to buy a bracelet because in every country I like to buy bracelets to remember the place and we just found some cool ones over here. And 
that bracelet was only three solace. Dried mango is one of our favorite fruits and we just found some, so we know we're gonna get some. <laughs> No yeah. This mango was only six soles for 100 grams. Huh? We are now going to try some local cheeses. She's gonna peel us with cheese right now. Is this Peruvian cheese, similar to Swiss? This one's really good. This is traditional Cusco cheese, and they say to eat it with like corn or chocolate. Yeah, corn. Mm. That one's really good too. She actually wouldn't even let me give her money, so a little free cheese, but super nice of her. Come to this stall if you want to buy cheese in Cusco. We are now trying to find some food, and it might be a little difficult for us because most of the food here is soup that contains chicken and chicken broth, which we don't eat, so let's hope we can find some lunch. <laughs> Alright, we found some food and this huge plate is only 14 soles, so time to eat. So we have some beans, rice, veggies, and potatoes. Got some like lamb ribs. <gasps> um, you, can, you can choose the size you want. In this case, I asked only for beans and mashed potatoes, but it also gave me rice. So it's, and I, I picked also, I wanted a fried egg on top. This is delicious, seriously. How much you pay for it? 15, 16 sol is like four dollars. <laughs> We're trying to get them over here so that we can pay. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is the Peruvian way to do it. Kind of. Not really, but no? it's a market and it's so loud. We now have 12 soles left, so it's time to maybe go look for some dessert. Some chocolate. Mm. And Ricardo has another friend here. Oh, of course I have here. We're in the chocolate aisle. Well, we find chocolate and coffee here. And this guy even is like, he should and he's gonna make us try some of this. 75% chocolate with almonds, no milk. 75% cacao. Mm. So um, This one has almonds. Tastes kind of the same. It's really good though. We're going to buy this bar of chocolate for eight soles. And that is what 50 soles can get you in the San Pedro market of Cusco. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe to our channel to watch more of our travels. Now Drew's gonna smell the noni. I wanna see. It's so gross. One more time, one more time. It smells like one more time. There's no first without second. Ew, it's so gross. <laughs> so now you know why this is taken in juice and no one eats it like that. And I'm not gonna smell this. I've done it too taste many times. Like?